everyone, welcome back again to my channel. This is Teacher Mars, and today's video we will discuss about combination of objects without repetition. So, what is combination? A combination is a mathematical te technique that determines the number of possible arrangements in a collection of items where the order of the selection does not matter. In combinations, you can select the items in any order. Combinations can be confused with permutations. So there are two types of combination. Letter A is repetition is allowed, such as coins in your pocket. So we have here 5, 5, 5, 10, 10. So repetition is allowed. And letter B is no repetition, such as lottery numbers. So we have here 2, 14, 15, 27, 30, and 33. So there is no repetition of items in the list. What is combination without repetition? This is how lotteries work. The numbers are drawn one at a time. And if we have lucky numbers, no matter what order, we win. So example for this is the 2, 4, 23, 28, and 39. So there is no repetition of numbers. Again, 5, 6, 8, 18, 42. There is no repetition of numbers. 15, 16, 39, 42, and 47. There is no repetition of numbers. 2, 6, 7, 26, and 32. There is no repetition of numbers. So, formula of combination without repetition. So, the combination of n objects taken or at a time is given by combination of n objects taken or at a time is equals to n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. Example, combination without repetition. How many combinations are possible from the letters is mile if the light letters are taken one at a time, two at a time, and five at a time? So we have here the formula. Combination of n object taken or at a time is equals to n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. So we have here the example for one at a time. So our n is equals to 5 because the word smile consists of 5 letters and 1 at a time is our r is r. So the formula is this one. Combination of n objects taken r at a time is equals to n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. So we have here the solution. Combination of 5 objects taken r taken one at a time is equals to 5 factorial over 1 factorial times 5 minus 1 factorial. So, substitution of the formula. So, we have here 5 factorial over 1 factorial, 4 factorial. So, in simplifying, 5 factorial times 4 factorial over 1 times 4 factorial. So, we have to cancel out 4 factorial. And we have here 5 over 1 is equals to 5. So again, now 2 at a time. So we have here the value for n is equals to 5. And the value for r is equals to 2. By using again the formula, we have here the solution. Combination of 5 objects taken 2 at a time is equals to 5 factorial over 2 factorial times 5 minus 2 factorial is equals to 5 factorial over 1 factorial times 3 factorial. So we have here to simplify. 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 factorial over 2 times 1 times 3 factorial. So we have here to cancel out. 3 factorial, so 5 times 4 is equal to 20, 2 times 1 is equal to 2, 20 divided 2 is equal to 10. So, the example for 3, 5 at a time. So, the value for n is 5, and 
we have here the value for r is 5. So we have here the solution. Combination of 5 objects taken 5 at a time is equal to 5 factorial over 5 factorial times 5 minus 5 factorial. So we have here the formula. 5 factorial over 5 factorial. So 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 factorial. So there is a rule. When it is 0 factorial, it is considered the answer is 1. So 5 factorial over 5 factorial, we have to cancel out. So the remaining is 1. So true or false, right check if the statement is correct and guess if it is wrong. So both combination and permutation are dependent on factorial notation. So the answer is check. Number two, the relationship between the combination and permutation of n objects taken at, our, at a time is given by the equation combination of n object taken r at a time is equal to permutation of n object taken r at a time r factorial. So the answer is x. Number three, combination are groupings that require order and permutations are groupings that do not require groupings. So the answer is wrong. Number four, each R combination can be viewed as a subset of R elements selected from a set of N elements. So the answer is check. And number five, combination of N objects taken N objects is equal to N factorial. So the answer is wrong. Because the combination formula is combination of N object taken r at a time is equals to n factorial over r factorial times n minus 1 factorial. So that is the combination without repetition, the formula. Once again, the formula of combination without repetition is the combination of n objects taken r at a time is given by combination of n objects taken r at a time is equals to n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. So that's all for today, guys. This is Teacher Morris, and believes that everything is simple unless you make it complicated. Thank you, everyone. See you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and watch my videos. Thank you, everyone.